Alright guys, so it's almost September. Whoa! Almost September, I have this camera, like this really sketchy railing here in Norwegian Bill. Which means I'm almost 60 days out from signing the lease for the gym, and I need $100,000 before that day happens. And since so much of my time lately has been taken up by this loan, the application process, just getting everything consolidated and ready to turn in, I figured I'd talk about, first off, why I'm taking a loan out to finance this gym, and then the steps I'm taking towards getting this $100,000 that we need. But first, I'm on a mission to find sushi. I've been on this mission since getting to Korea. So it's all you can eat sushi. I don't know how much it costs. And I don't know exactly what I'm eating because everything was not in English. But they also have a bunch of other stuff like squid. But the sushi selection is actually pretty decent. They even have Korean chicken. Fun fact, I actually suck at chopsticks. So I just poke it in the middle. It works just fine. There's one rack just dedicated to spam and there's one rack just dedicated to ramen. See, like, look at this ramen selection. This is all ramen right here. All of this. So the way we saw it, we had three options for financing for the gym. One was to take out the loan, the second was investors, and then the third was cash flow. We didn't want investors because we didn't want the, the liability and responsibility of owing someone money other than a bank. Cash flow, we have cash flow with Bear Performance Nutrition and then our personal jobs that we're bringing in. So that's going to be part of the financing but there's a lot of overhead with starting a gym. And we need roughly $100,000 because we've budgeted and allocated $85,000 for equipment and then 15 to $20,000 for like computers, printers, office equipment. The rest of the money that we need to finance the gym, other than that $100,000 for that initial overhead and to really just set up our baseline is coming from cash flow from Bear Performance Nutrition. So the question I get all the time when I bring up the fact that I'm taking a loan out to finance this gym is just use cash flow. Here's the thing, I didn't realize how important cash flow was and so I started scaling a company. But when we were smaller, when we were just starting out, cash flow wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, we would make purchases for inventory and then flip it and then as we made more money, we'd buy more inventory. Well, as you grow, you need more of a positive balance of cash flow in your account so you can add more products, add more variation, add a lot of different things. Cash flow is so important as you're scaling a company. I didn't realize that until I ended up in that position. So we don't want to drain all of the money in the Bear Performance Nutrition accounts and limit our growth with that company as we're building a new company. So we are relying on this loan to build the gym as we continue to scale Bear Performance Nutrition. The reason I tell you guys all of this is because a lot of people reach out to me that are interested in starting their businesses at some point. And the best advice I can tell you is to start early, start planning early, start preparing early. And you do this by setting yourself up for success with jobs early on and management positions, putting money away to save. And there's no reason that you guys should make the same mistakes that I've made in the past. So the requirements for this loan that I'm taking out, and I'm, I'm using the Small Business Association, everything on their site, SBA, you can find everything you need. It's a great resource. I'm asking for $100,000. You need at least 30% of the loan that you're asking for already injected into the business. So I need $30,000 already injected in, and I'm doing this by ways of Bear Performance Nutrition, buying more inventory, makes it really easy for us. So 30% of your loan already injected into the business. You need at least two years of management experience. Now I'm using all my experience in the military for this, which actually has set me up awesome for success. I've been a platoon leader. I've been the unit movement officer. So on my resume I have that I moved 120 plus people and millions of dollars worth of equipment from the United States to Korea with zero loss of any equipment or personnel, thank God. And then the last two things that you need are a thorough business plan. Now I used liveplan.com to set mine up and I spent probably six or seven months total just building it and getting it ready. You need a letter of interest from your lease and you also need two years of projected revenue and profits by month for your company. So these are all the things I've been building the past couple of months and specifically bringing together in the past week to get ready to apply for this loan. All right, so leaving Wujin Boo right now, uh, going back to Camp Casey to work out with one of my old squad leaders, Staff Sergeant Anderson. We're gonna do shoulders and arms. 
but it's the craziest thing like for the longest time it was so humid here like humid to the point where yeah i mean you guys heard me talk about it in videos it was almost unbearable and then one day it just stopped it went away and now it's like beautiful like i can wear jeans comfortably and not sweat all the time what i would do to take away this fear of being loved allegiance to the pain now i'm messed up and i'm missing you and i'll be like you i would give anything to change this fickle-minded heart that loves fake shiny things now i'm messed up and i'm missing you So you probably noticed in that video that me and Anderson both have this this smallpox scar right here. I've been putting Moderma on it every night before going to bed, and it has been getting a lot better. Hopefully it's gone by the time I get home. Just got a message from my brother. So Flight Blue Raspberry and Intraflight Lemonade just arrived. So they'll be back on the site by the time this video is uploaded. Uh, Intraflight Watermelon will be a few days still, and then Creatine will be another week. So the site is slowly getting restocked now that we just sold out of everything. So if you're interested, check it out. So this morning's PT, it was just time two mile runs to give us like an established baseline of where you're at right now and where you're trying to get to for our next PT test. This right here is Endo Pump. This is our pump product that's coming out in like probably three weeks, two or three weeks. It comes in early, um, but we need to send out the products to get professional photos done for the website before it goes on the website. This is non-stimulant based and it's a mango pineapple flavor, which is absolutely delicious. All right, so workout complete. Didn't have time to film the workout just because I have to be at work really soon. So I had to like crunch it in. Um, but this is an example of a meal you can use like while you're bulking. Really easy way to get a lot of calories in. This is one everything bagel that's just toasted. I actually threw it in the broiler because I don't have a toaster here. And then two servings of crunchy peanut butter. I'm more of a crunchy fan than the creamy. And one banana mashed up there, some cinnamon, and then sugar-free syrup a little bit on top there. All the macros on the screen, but like super easy post-workout meal that's convenient for bulking. Hey, how you doing? Uh, right outside the gate, please. So I'm really limiting my on post filming at this point, other than PT and in the gym, just because we're so close to leaving at this point, and I don't want to get in any trouble for whatever reason. Like this past weekend, I was in the gym, and since everyone's on GO1 right now, everyone was in the gym. And I was filming, and the brigade commander walked in, which never happens, and as I was like doing a chest press, I see him in the mirror as I have my camera set up, and in like one fluid motion, jumped off the chest press, grabbed the camera, put it in the bag. I just want to stay under the radar until we leave. And I also came out here because I wanted to take a picture at this spot. So like, I've lived right outside here by the gate for the past seven months and didn't realize like this is right by me. So I'm trying to get more into photography and get better at it. So I'm just gonna practice. My last couple YouTube videos I've referred to it. I'm opening a gym in a year in Austin, Texas. I posted this video March 7th, 
2016, it was like a month after getting to Korea. And it's when I, like, I originally started planning and preparing to open up this gym. And it's crazy because an hour ago, I submitted the loan application for the $100,000 to the SBA. And then I wrote down two things today because like throughout the day, sometimes I'll take down notes. Oh, shit. If you have the time, and this is like one of the biggest things I've learned while being in Korea. If you have the time, you have the opportunity, you have exponential growth for whatever you want to do. And if you, even if, if you, blah, blah, blah. and even if you don't have time, more than likely you can make time. And if you're gonna do it, do it right. That's the last thing. But I think the best way to invest is invest in yourself. And I'd rather give myself $100,000 to turn into a million dollars than someone else. Just my opinion. That's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you in the next one. No, of course I didn't litter.